Show you guys how to set up your any Elgato from the Elgato Game Catcher HD, which was the very first one, which supported the HDMI stuff, which was from the PS3, like the inner side of the PS3 into the PS4, to the Elgato 4K Mark Pro, which is the latest one, actually the 4K S Pro, which is the, the travel one. But I'll be showing you guys how to set it up. But before you guys before we continue, if you guys consider like, comment, and subscribe, I do I make a lot of content. I try to bring you guys daily content, but it's mostly gonna be weekly now. I got like three videos drop per day. Let's get started. So just keep in mind, y'all, if you're in a, I'm making a video, it should be out already, but it should it depends on your Elgato capture card with footage when you want to do 4K, um, 1080p. Please keep in mind, y'all, if you're going to invest in these capture cards, at least future proof your setup. Um, get 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 a product that allows you to do it allows you to play in 4K still, you still can do 1080p because now you're wasting um, the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, or if you don't know how to do Series X, this is actually the start. capture card. I'm turn my other light on to help out, give you got a little bit of a different perspective. So yeah, I can see the HDMI out. This will be the one that connects to your TV or monitor. This is the extra one that you should have. Um, you need to find an extra uh, HDMI cable. But if you're doing 4K, you need an HDMI 2.0 or 2.1, this really depends. So you see the HDMI out, as you guys will see right here. This one needs to be going to your TV, and then one in the back, which is the HDMI in, and you, you can know the difference because they have two other ports. It'll be the audio uh, audio port and the USB 3.0, um, if you're using any of the external ones. But the HDMI in will be your console, your Xbox Series X, or what this video is pertaining to, is your PlayStation You already see the HDMI in, if it's going to focus in, because the way the, the light is, no light, yes, you see it right there, HDMI in. Yeah, so like I said, HDMI out, which is the single HDMI, will be your TV or monitor HDMI port. This one will be your console, okay? HDMI in will be your console. Let's just say you have an internal capture card like myself, I have the Mark K Pro, which you can tell, you see it right there, it says the Elgato symbol. You wanna make sure that your PlayStation 4 goes into the, or PS5 or Xbox, well, this PlayStation 5, will go into the HDMI in. Let me put that down. I repeat myself, okay? Your this is I have a different setup than you guys. Um, your P, like I said, PS5 going to the HDMI in, your TV or monitor going to the HDMI out. Now, guys, this is the uh, the setup that I have that you guys don't have because before I was playing in 4K. I mean, I was playing in 1080p, 60 FPS, and I have 4K monitors and fucking consoles, and I couldn't do it. This allowed me at the time when I didn't have a 4K capture card to play in 4K and to record in 1080p. So that's why my setup is a little bit different from y'all, but that's why you don't have all. The, that's why my cores are not all the way set up in the Elgato because mostly all my stuff goes you to do here. Anything before you connect your PS5 to the Elgato. I probably should put this in the intro of the video, but make sure you go to system. Make sure you go to HDMI and make sure enable HDCP is turned off because if not, you will get a black screen. It'll be flickering. That's because Sony doesn't want does not want any copyright problems. Because if you have this capture card, um, you can like if they didn't have this, you better record Netflix or whatever on here and you can bootleg it or whatever <laughs> that's what people do but really that's how you really set it up to show you guys proof um on this one i do have my um stuff set up this is elgato with obs um actually live right now that's how it is early in the morning so i do apologize for that but as i said this is my elgato i'm sure you guys the um 4k utility software so it is connected that's how you really set it up there's really nothing this really simple as last year last gen you just use your HDMI cables, and yeah, boom, as you guys see, it is active right now. Um, for you guys, like I said, if you do not have HDCP turned off, you will not get this, uh, you will, it will not turn on. So please keep that in mind. Make sure you have, you have your correct HDMI cables if you're doing 4K and stuff like that. I know the Xbox Series X does not have this issue. You can plug, you can set up your Gato um, without having to do this because they don't have this problem. So if you guys are in the video, then uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.